That's all right. Can I leave you my details? Not much point. Not much point? Dude, what the fuck's up his ass? Jesus Christ. Hey. How the fuck are ya? So a couple weeks ago we walked into a bunch of cafes and tried to get some work or whatever and it worked. We actually did get some work and we got some money. Today I'm gonna try and step it up a bit more. Instead of walking into cafes to try and get some work, I'm gonna walk into a bunch of different car dealerships. Now in my area, I don't know about you, Melbourne more specifically in the city of Melbourne, there's quite a few car dealerships and in this one particular suburb that's not too far away from my house, there are 17 car dealerships in a row. Holden, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Lexus, Jaguar, Land Rover, Nissan, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Renault, Volvo, Ford, Audi, Alfa, Honda, Mazda. All places that need photos and videos done. I'm not really too sure on what today's aim is, whether that I'm trying to get a car out of these guys to take photos of, or even if, if it's for future reference. I got some business cards this time, which look they look pretty good, so I can't get fucking bullied this time because last video everyone was like, ooh, hand out some business cards. But uh, I'm gonna put on some nicer clothes before we do that. Is this better? L lose a hat? Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> hey, for more rejections today? Plenty more. I reckon we're gonna get a bit more than last time. Doing okay? What's uh, up? How can we help? I'm uh, just wondering if I could speak to a sales manager or general manager. Hey, how are you going? Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. My name is Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? Yeah, good, hey, thank Liam, you. How are you. Good. We were just wondering if you guys need any photos or videos done and oh, okay. all that kind of stuff. No, we, we have, we have no that's right. Just, just coming in to check oh, if you guys need it. That's actually a good start. Good <laughs> rejection in the morning. Love a good rejection. <laughs> some people drink coffee. We drink a bit of rejection. We, we drink some rejection. All right, next up is Holden. Good morning, how are you? I just wanted to speak to someone about photos or videos if you guys need any things done for your Instagram or... No worries, thank you. Never trust the receptionist. This dealership smells like a pool. The deal principal only deals with that so he makes the decision. Oh, okay, that's right, no stress. He's at 9.30, okay, cool. Uh, I'm thinking that a lot of dealerships are gonna already have like a marketing division or whatever. It's, it's still worth a shot going and asking though. Hey, how's it going? I was just wondering if you guys need any photos or videos done. Probably not doing that. Yeah? You got people that already do it for you? They're probably fucking shit anyway. That looked like a schoolroom in there, bro. Yeah. What the fuck was that? It's like a classroom. Yeah, literally. I was just wondering if you guys need any photos or videos done of your dealership or anything, because that's we what we specialize. Oh, yeah. well, you do it all in-house? Yeah, we're, we're oh, that's running. right. Just double yeah. checking. Uh, Lexus is ours next door, so we do it in-house. Right. Well. That's, we won't do that yeah. then. Well, <laughs> guys. All right, thank you anyway. Cheers. What's happening yeah. is that a lot of dealerships seem to be owned by other dealerships, uh, which is really fucking annoying. You never know when a company is changing or who's got fired in what scenario and it's a numbers game at the end of the day. This is the hard part to do is dealing with that amount of rejection in such a little amount of time and then pushing through. Because we've done it in the past um, with the cafes and stuff, I'm a bit more used to it now, I guess. Righto. Let's try here, we've got Jaguar. Good morning. Good, thank you yourself. Let's actually speak with his um, Simon Lee. Cool. Do you have his card? All right, too easy. Thank you. I call leave one of these with you as well. Too easy. Thank you. Oh, she was yeah. fucking cute. She was nice as well. Nice and cute. That's rare. How are you going, mate? You got cameras? Yeah, we've got a guy who does. We do. Uh... Nice to meet you. My name is Mike. I was just wondering if you guys need any photos or videos done. No, no, and no. That's all right. Can I leave you my details? Not much point. Not much point? No. All right. No worries then. Uh, yeah. Have a fantastic day. And a great sleep tonight. Dude, what the fuck's up his ass? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I do, of course. Yeah, good, thank you. Yourself? I was just wondering if I could speak to your sales manager or general manager. That'd be me. Oh, hey, hey you doing, I'm yeah? Mike. Daniel. Nice to meet you. The gentleman down the end, though, does most of our marketing for Alex Bompani. He's in casual clothes today. Okay. Okay. I can't miss him. <laughs> yeah, righto. I can I'm speak sure to him then? Yeah. Okay, cool. No worries. Thanks, mate. Sorry, uh, Daniel just told us to come over and have a word with you. You got a sec? Uh, depends on what it is. Oh, we're just wondering if you guys need any photos or videos done for, for the dealership here. Yeah, do you have um, images or photos that you take? Yeah, of course. I've got a card as well. I can give you a card. Yeah. That's my Insta. Not bad, boys. I like your photos. Wow. Really good, actually. Why don't I give you guys a crack next week on Monday? Too easy. Done. Yeah. I'll see you at 9.30. There you go, my friend. Too easy. Done. Hey, thanks for no worries. Thanks for coming in. See what I mean? You just gotta walk in. It's a fucking numbers game. Well, about 10 minutes ago, I was like, oh, I gotta push through. And we pushed through, and now we're here. So, I'm 
gonna go pick up Liam. He said 9.30 today. And then I think he's got like a few cars for us to photograph. So we're just gonna smash them out. Here we are. So important to be punctual for these jobs. We actually got here 20 minutes earlier. That's how punctual we were. Hello, young man. Hey guys, how are we? Good to, yeah. good to see ya. Good to see you too. How you going? Jamie, pleasure to meet you. Yeah. You guys couldn't come back at like 10, could you? Yeah, we can come back at 10. That's right. Just gives us a bit of time to sort of move some cars around. Yeah. I kind of forgot at the same time, you know what I mean? So Both you can exactly at 9.30. Yeah, that's right. We're so punctual, they forgot how to be punctual. <laughs> that's how punctual we were. We out-punctured them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now what? Want to sit here and talk shit? Done. <laughs> Six, five. So do those two cars and then we're going to round up some of the alphas in the yard there to get, get some photos done. Alright, sweet. So basically for the first shot, what you want to do is you pretty much want to come to like where the headlights are or where the wheel is and just take a few steps back. That's going to be your first shot for the image of the ad. All these photos are going to be for car sales and they're going to be to advertise the car. So you don't really have to get that creative. You just need to show the car for what it is. Shoot on 50 mil if you've got a crop sensor, but if you've got a full frame, shoot on 70 mil if you can. And if you have the space to do so, come and walk right back so you get the full car in the frame at 70 mil. That's gonna give the most natural look for the car. All right, so now we wanna shoot the interior of the car. Basically, first things first is make sure it's sort of clean enough. These seats are a little bit dirty, that's all right. Um, and then we wanna make sure that the seats are the same length. It's really easy because we've got electric seats right here. So I'm just gonna move the seats back. And usually with every single car, I try to keep the headrest down. Sure you highlight all the features the car has on the inside. Does it have electric seats? Does it have heated seats? Does it have a sunroof? Does it have electric windows? You want to go around the car and just see what it has and make sure you photograph those points. So we've got pretty much over 25 photos of this car. It's going to help sell it, I reckon. Okay, looks like we can't bring these around because the cars have to go on the road to come around into the inside of the shop and it's illegal to drive the car without it being registered and these aren't registered yet. So we're just going to shoot them here in the car park, which is all right. Luckily, we've got a bit of an overcast day today because if it was sunny, we'd probably be fucked. We just finished all the photos, so now we've pretty much got to edit everything together. So I've got my computer here. Same day service is what's going to set you apart from everyone else. Once they're all done, I'm going to email the manager a Google Drive link. Okay, so walked into 10 different places, got rejected from nearly every single one of them except for Alfa Romeo. So big thank you to Alfa Romeo Brighton. In the end, uh, th there was four hours of work there. We rocked up at 9.30 and we left at 12.30. I did three hours of shooting and one hour of editing. Um, so I spoke to Alex, who was the general manager, and I charged him $100 every hour, including editing. So in total was $400 plus 10% tax here in Australia. That's a total of $440 made today. Look, it really is that easy just to walk into a bunch of different places. It just takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of courage just to get up, get out there, get rejected a few times, and you want to get rejected. I would encourage you just to get out there and get rejected just so you can feel it because it actually builds your character. And eventually once you do it so many times, like I reckon off camera, on and off camera, I've done this over a hundred times just going out and cold calling people and I feel a lot more confident and comfortable with myself just even talking and starting a conversation. Like no matter Matter even if it's trying to walk into a dealership or starting a conversation with a girl like now now I feel a lot more confident in that regard I just want to point out that these photos from this photo shoot they're not supposed to be creative at all they're just supposed to show the photos of the cars because the cars aren't actually owned by anyone so there's no point trying to get very creative with it because someone looking to buy the car it's just gonna wanna look at the car for what it is. It is so crucial that you send the photos to the client within the same day. That is what's gonna set you apart from everyone else because Alex actually said to me, the reason why he gave us a shot was because of the quick turnaround time. And it's even better for you. That way you don't have to go go home that night and then try and edit the next day and it just turns into a fuck around. Just get it all over and done with within the same day. 
and then it's done. What's the next thing? Lastly, I just want to point out that these videos are not perfect. They're not supposed to be perfect, and I don't really care about trying to make them perfect. These videos that I make are for you. There are probably other things that I could have done in this video to get me even more work and follow up on things and give out more business cards, but that's not the point. The point of this video is to show that you do get rejected. This is what happens in the real world, and you can actually get jobs and make money with photography tomorrow, on the weekend, next week. Aww. I make these videos for you not for me. At the end of the day, it's just to show you how to get out there and make some money with photography. Let me know down in the comments where you think I should walk into next or where you think I should go try and make some money out of. I hope I taught you something new today. I definitely learned a lot in this video, making this video and learned a lot about myself. So if you did like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. With that all said and done, I will see you in the next one.